So the first on my motorhome nice to have accessories is the Tassimo. Um, I like the Tassimo, it does make some really good coffee. It's very easy to use, it doesn't take up too much space and I really can't stand most instant coffee. So although it's on my nice to have list, it really ought to be on my essentials list. Right, there's a couple of things that um, I don't fancy going outside and getting wet for, but one is the solar panel. Um, I'd recommend having a solar panel. Uh, the reason is because sometimes you want to go uh, where there's no electrical hookup, so-called off-grid, and a solar panel will help recharge your leisure batteries. And the other item um, that follows on from that really is leisure batteries. Most most homes come with at least one leisure battery, but I'd recommend actually having two, you know, double your capacity. With a solar panel, um, you can survive three, four, five days without needing to charge your batteries or run the engine. So I, I, I think it's a, it's pretty well recommended, but it's a nice to have if you if you don't have the time or the money for it yet. Awnings. Awnings. We've got a couple of we actually got a couple of awnings. Um, one of them we haven't used for ages. One is called, was called a it is called a safari room, and it's a it's more of a sort of a permanent thing that you put up around the rollout awning. Um, hopefully, I'll have some pictures to show you of that. Um, the reason we don't tend to use it is because what it does is it stops you going anywhere. Once you put it up, it takes a while, a couple of hours to put up, and then you can't go anywhere. Um, it's okay if you've got a car with you or you're near public transport, but we've actually stopped using it. Um, don't find it that useful. It gives you loads of space outside, but more useful is the driveway awning that we've had for a couple of years now. That's easier to put up. You just inflate it and attach it and nail it down, really. And uh, it does then mean that you can drive the motorhome away so you can empty your tanks or you can go out for a day trip whatever you need to do. So we probably will be taking the drive away awning with us on our next trip. Uh, so watch this space. This is the Kadak Safari Chef. Now it's a portable barbecue and it's not too big. Um, it fits in a locker. We did have the bigger Kadak originally and it took up so much blooming room even in a big van decided not to get it. So let me show you a little bit what's inside the bag. It comes with these legs that fold out. Just pop out and turn it over. And you stand it on there. And then what you've got is you get that goes on top of that. Deflector plate. That goes on top of that. And that's your grill. It comes with a non stick frying surface and the lid also turns into a wok as well so you can use that as a wok or a frying pan set up like this it acts as an oven so uh, you put the stuff in there put the lid on and you can do things like baked potatoes or, or even pies or anything like that that you can do in the oven it comes with a connector and that plugs in the outside barbecue point or if you've got a spare bottle hanging about, you can get an adapter just to screw it onto uh, that adapter. And the other thing you can get for it is this pizza stone. So um, you heat up the barbecue, uh, get it nice and hot. And then what, apparently what you do is you put your pizza on there and switch it off. And just let the, the heat cook the pizza. The other thing I've mentioned that's nice to have is a satellite dish. Um, we tend to use our skybox when we go away and we've got a whole video on that so I won't uh, show you that right now. This was a useful little gadget, well, not really a gadget but it's a cloth, it's a microfiber cloth and it's a drying cloth so all you do is when you wash up, you wash your pots, you just put them on there and it soaks up the water. It's a really useful thing, it's much better than having that draining board, big plastic draining board that comes with most motorhomes. Just put that on there and it also doubles up on the cooker perfectly just for keeping the rattles down when you're driving along.
a Braun battery toothbrush. Really useful. Um, if you use an electric toothbrush at home, a rechargeable one, you can't always be charging the, the toothbrush up. This one's got a couple of AA batteries in it. Lasts for absolutely ages. And cleans your teeth. All right, so these are yak tracks. You clip them onto your, your bottom of your feet when it's icy or snowy. There they are clipped onto my slippers. I wouldn't go out in the snow in my slippers, obviously, but I couldn't find any other shoes to, to, to show you them on. And it stops you slipping over. It's great. Another thing I quickly want to show you is these things here, this pole across here. I can't remember what they're called, but what they are are adjustable so that you can seem quite tight. And yeah, adjust by twisting them. And you put them in a cupboard like that and you adjust them. Can't do it one handed. You adjust them. It just stops things falling out of the cupboard. This little device here is the mains plug, but it's a surge plug, so it protects the mains, so useful for charging up the lap laptop. But it's also got two USBs on the top. Um, you can never have too many USBs. These are the Malenko mirror protectors, so they clip on over your mirror. Um, actually stop you getting bashed on it and it just sort of clips on there it's got like rubber behind it so if you do whack the mirrors and I have done in the past you don't break the whole mirror but they are really expensive those mirrors now one of the things that's nice to have when you've got a big motorhome is a small car with you uh, for trips out and certainly you can park a small car in places you certainly couldn't get the large motorhome so we've got one of these towing A-frames from a company called Smart Tow, and uh, I've done a few videos about it. And here's an older video just showing me attaching it to the back of the motorhome, and uh, it's very useful to have, nice to have, in fact. And my collapsible kettle. So with that. I'll put the kettle on and have a cup of coffee. So that's it for now, uh, for the, the nice to have um, stuff. Uh, so if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon and share this video if uh, you know of anyone who may find this useful. So we'll see you soon.